Hello Internet! Welcome back to yet another Morgasticism video, starring yours truly. Uh, let's see, we last left off, we got to... What town is this? Violet City? Now I took a little tour of the town, didn't really do much, but now we're ready to get into things by starting off here at Sprout Tower. Experience the way Pokemon. Alrighty, sounds like something that's right up my alley. Bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. I kind of wonder if that's actually like real in the Pokemon world, that like something would actually grow that big. And again, 100 feet isn't like too big. I mean, it's really big for like, you know, a creature. I'm not sure. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Okay. It definitely moves like a bell sprout. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Only if you reach the top will you attain an HM. Ooh, I want an HM. What's up, man? However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. So there's, you know, it's like a little tower. I think there's like three or four stories. It's, I think there's four. But, there ain't really much going on. There's this couple of trainers and stuff, they're all these like monk dudes. And then, there's a couple of wild Pokemon, I know there's chances of Rattata and uh, Ghastly showing up. I'm not sure what else, if anything else, uh, shows up here. You would think Bellsprout, but no. Bellsprout. I'm just gonna keep taking you out with Rita. You know, at this... I I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up going to the first gym and Rita's gonna be at least a bay leaf at that point. Well, I mean, I say at least like it's gonna become a Meganium one. Definitely not. But it should be a bay leaf by then. As long as we just keep using it and like nothing else until... I get something else I want to use, then yeah. Which I am aiming for getting a ghastly in here. Although I'm thinking, like, what? Do I really want to use a ghastly? I mean, it gets. Give it Sludge Bomb, give it Shadow Ball. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could see myself using it. It, would be, it probably wouldn't be that bad. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Yes, you are, sir. Rita's level 13 now. And we're back on the first floor, but behind where we were earlier. Maybe there is only three floors, because you go up and down a little bit. We stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. It's definitely uh, a novel lifestyle. I got a other sages, not monks. My bad. Sage Chow wants to battle, and Bell Sprout. Yeah, these guys use like nothing but Bell Sprout up until the last floor, and then I think they use like Bell Sprout and Hoot Hoot, and like nothing else. So using Rita, well, I mean I got you know Tackle, which. It's decently strong level 13, otherwise it would have been kind of annoying going through here. You see, when you choose your starter in the beginning of a game, it more or less kind of chooses the difficulty, kind of. Like, if you choose Chikorita, you got the first gym is flying, and you got bug, and you have normal, then you have ghost, but every ghost type is also part poison, so it's more or less also a poison type gym. Then you got Fighting, Steel, Ice, and Dragon. The odds are stacked against Chikorita so hard. Either offensively or defensively, it always has the, the lower hand. Whereas choosing... I think Totodile is more like in the middle, and definitely Cyndaquil is like easy mode. Because Cyndaquil, well, I mean the first gym is, you know, flying, it doesn't really affect it. Second gym is bug. That normal, eh. 
There's steel, and then there's also ice. That's the only thing I would really have an upper hand against. So, it's three out of eight. But water beats none of them. And grass just has, like, the odds are stacked against it. Whereas at least water is like, eh, you don't beat anything, but nothing also beats you. That's also the reason I kind of like choosing Chikorita. I was like, I like a little bit more of a challenge. Although, if you just have a good team, the game's never really that much of a challenge. Well, that just might be me bragging, saying I'm good at this game. Which I am, I think, in my humble opinion, anyway. Sorry, you guys just have to watch me take down Bell Sprouts. There ain't, ain't much else going on here. It's also one of my other gripes with any gen of the Gen 2 games, is that they seem to throw at you like many, many of the battles just over and over again. Like, alright, here's 10 trainers. They all use nothing but... Oh, say, some one of my Pokemon's holding an item. I didn't notice that. Rocky, what are you holding? I, I think you're holding a berry. A bitter berry, okay. Also, something that's different from Gen 1, I didn't show off. You got different screens, you got your status screen, your move screen, you got your uh, your stats. Whereas before, you only got the two, and you couldn't cycle through them like this. It would just be like, you go to like, well, this one, this one, back out to the menu. And now you can go back and forth, you can look at all this stuff. See your status, see your types, see your uh, hit points. Maybe it's experience points. Of course, you know, this screen and this screen could probably be condensed into one. But I like that the moves won't... Well, I mean, the moves had their own screen in the first game anyway. Am I saying that I like the one in Gen 1 more? Yes and no, because I get to go back and forth. This dragon this battle out longer than it has to be, apparently critical hit. Also, Chikorita takes the longest to evolve, I want to say. Or no, no, it might be... Alright, so, Chikor uh, Cyndaquil evolves at level 14. I think Chikorita is 16, and Totodile is 18, but then from Croconaw to Feraligator, it's, a, it's I think, like level 30, and then it's 32 for Chikorita and like 35 for uh, Kulava. Don't quote me on that. I'll figure that out eventually myself. And we're just going to continue up the tower. Got an item, found a potion. Now, now we finally get to fight the big bad guys in here. The ones that have hoot hoots. <laughs> Nothing that scares me more than a level 3 hoot hoot. Oh, well, I guess not this one. Maybe the next one. Hopefully the next one. Oh, this one's level 6. Oh, now I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Uh, apparently if I miss, yeah, I'm going to be scared. Okay. These guys are like really nothing to worry about. I'm gonna have... It's gonna be a bitch to go through with that first gym though. I already know it. Even if I am... If I, even if I get Rita to evolve. It's gonna be a bitch. This one have a hoot hoot. And he has the HM for Flash. Now we know we're trying to get here. And this guy still only has a bell sprout. Is I know for sure the master has one, but I want to say, okay, if not this other guy, then I've completely lost my mind about what's actually in and not in this game.
And here I was thinking I knew Gen 2 like I knew Gen 1. At the back of my hand. Is my head that is bright? It is. Kind of bald. Maybe. Kind of. Definitely your out of battle sprite. In battle, you look like you kind of has some hair. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. Well, I definitely trust Chikorita here. Right, this guy is too. Ooh, he has a level seven Bell Sprout. Now, now I'm actually scared, guys. I say as I crit it and almost one hit it. That's that's my new motto for for when I play Pokemon. You gotta crit it and hit it. Uh, crit it and quit it. Well, it gave me some decent experience actually. Here's the hoot hoot. See guys, I wasn't lying. And I don't remember what Razor Leaf looks like because I haven't used it in forever now. I don't really know when I'm going to use that move again. So, there's this channel I watch called False Swipe Gaming, and they pretty much, well I mean they do a variety of videos, but their biggest thing for me is their videos are like, how good was Blank actually? And it goes back through the different generations, you know, be like, how good was this Pokemon in Gen 1, Gen 2, da 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 da, and you know, it'll start off in whatever generation that Pokemon started in. And they did all the Gen 1 starters. They are, at the point of this release, they just did Blaziken and Swampert. They're probably going to do uh, Sceptile next. But they completely skipped over the Generation 2 starters. No one uses them. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. So he says that now, years later, the Pokemon, uh, I forget the name of the game, but like, it's, it's, uh, like a strategy game, like, you have to go use Pokemon as tools of war. God, what is that game called? Pokemon Conquest, I think? I think it's that, I want to say it's that, it's probably that. Dawson use an escape rope. Alright, bye Dawson. I wish I had an escape rope. <gasps> oh my god, I got an escape rope! What a cool looking little thing here. It's a powerful painting of a bell sprout. So powerful. A Pokemon statue. Looks very distinguished. It is. Alright, well, let's get on with our first uh quote unquote boss battle. Question mark? Build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Sage Lee wants the battle. Alrighty, Sage. Let's see what you got. More Bell Sprout. I'm not surprised. You're not even like stronger than like the other state sages. You give yourself more special attack and then you proceed to die and like not use it. Well you might get a chance to now. Eh. No, not really. I give you the benefit of the doubt. I was like you might do something, but no. Alright guys, I don't think I'm actually gonna be evolved by the time I get to the gym, because the gym is right next. And um Yeah, we're uh well, let's see. Get this. It might bring me to, like, the very end of the nine. But that Hoot Hoot that he has for the last battle, or last Pokemon, is, uh... 
It's not gonna. I'm not gonna level up in this. I can already tell. Also, I didn't encounter any wild Pokemon. Oh, it's past the nine. Okay. See what level your Hoot Hoot is. I might somehow be able to get away with leveling up. Oh, he's level ten. Make this easier on myself. Use some poison powder. Foresight. So Foresight is really only good for one thing, and that's making ghost types. Like, making it like, so that you can hit them with normal and fighting type moves. Other than that, Foresight doesn't do anything, and I don't even know why any Pokemon really learns it. You see, like Hoot Hoot, it's not a Psychic type, but it learns like Confusion, and it learns Psychic. So like he really never needs that to go against a you know a ghost type like that. And not that you would ever really want to. Damn it, I came so close. I don't know, it's just kinda of one of those pointless moves. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. I got a flash. Yay, I'm so excited. And now proceed to probably never use it. I can't even use it until I get the gym badge. Cause I'm like, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go back to a uh, dark cave and get something out of there, and then go battle the gym. But no, I can't even go in there until after the gym. But yeah, you use Flash in dark cave, and I honestly can't think of anywhere else you use it in this game. Well, rock tunnel, like in, well, um, forget I said that. That's a surprise for later. Yeah, um... I really do want that Ghastly. I'm probably gonna take on the gym with just uh, Rita. Let's heal up some real quick. Yeah, welcome to the Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon for good health. Da 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 da, yep. I honestly don't even know why I'm carrying around these other Pokemon when I'm not going to use them. Besides maybe like one or two of them might have like Growl or Tail Whip or something like that. And I'll switch them in during the last battle and see what I can get away with. Let's see if you're good enough for to face Faulkner. Oh, I didn't even talk to the aide! I need to go talk to him! How am I supposed to know how to beat flying types? Okay, he's level 9. See, this gym is not going to be very easy. No, not if you use Peck. I mean, he didn't do that much damage. So he'll be fine, but Faulkner is going to be a problem. Up, oh, up, oh, we're going to evolve now. We're going to evolve. Let's see, what are your stats? You're very defensive, not very offensive, and very slow. This can't be true. I'm sorry, Abe, it is. Do 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 And we got a bay leaf. Cool. Let's check out Bayleaf stats. Oh, whoops. Alright, uh... It went up a little bit. Not by too much, though. Not as much as I wanted it to for an evolution. Oh yeah, that's also the thing. This is why I like Gen 2 more. Because I can cycle through them like that. See, Rocky, what moves do you have? You have Tackle and Screech. 
I'm gonna send you out. You're probably gonna die, but I'll send you out against the last one, and I'll let you screech. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream can come true, you believe, then listen. <sighs> Thanks, man. You didn't really tell me much I didn't already know. Besides, uh, yeah, you fucked, Morgan. You fucked. The keyword is guts. Those here training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. All right. Hmm. I shouldn't call you Rita if you're not going to be a Chikorita anymore. I don't know what I would have called you, like Leaf. I mean, you are covered in leaves, so maybe. And another Pidgey. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Well, I mean, you'll you'll see very soon, but. When we get the H, or not the H, when we get the TM from this dude, be a little confused about what TM we're getting. At least I am. I mean, like, I understand the concept behind it, but I'll talk more about that after we get it. Rookie Rod was defeated. Gah! Just screams. And again, I keep pressing the select button thinking I'm gonna open up the menu for whatever reason. Number 18, that's good. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon swings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults with bird Pokemon, but I mean it's kinda true, so is it really an insult? the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Well, I definitely love bird Pokemon. And the two main legendaries of Gen 2 are both birds. Maybe that's why he starts off with bird type. Or bird type. Flying type. Okay, that was easy. Remember how I said this guy was going to be a bitch to fight? Apparently I was lying. Don't listen to me. Yeah... Send out Rocky. Let's see what we can do. He's level 9. <laughs> the first gen leader is only level 9. Uh, at least Brock. He was like level like 11 and 13. Screech. Mud Slap. That's the move he ends up giving you as a TM. It's a ground type move. Oh! Lower, uh, it lowers your accuracy. It's pretty much just think of a uh, think of sand attack, but it actually does damage. That's all mud slap is. But because of that, you can't use it against everything. Like you can't use it against flying types, whereas you can hit flying types with uh, sand attack. And he's out of here. So even if you go up against him with a rock type, there's still a chance, like he because he uses that move. Rita, let's go. Do 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 do. do. Yeah, let's see. Tackle now that we've lowered your defense by four stages. That's what I thought. <gasps> oh, I was hoping you'd level up from that. Your Faulkner was defeated. Aww. He's using his dad's Pokemon too. Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. That's a nod name for one, but thanks, mister. Alright, guys, we got our first badge. We're doing so far so good. Take this too. TM31. The team of Pokemon will instantly learn a new move 
think before you act. TM can be used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. Reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it'll be both defensive and offensive. Alright guys, I will be right back. Alright, sorry about the cut and footage. I uh, really had to run to the bathroom during that. Alright guys, so we got our first gym badge, and we got our second phone call from Professor Elm. Hello, Morgan. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Click. I uh, wonder what it could be. He was like, yeah, this egg made a really delicious breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> and gives me some eggs to eat. Morgan, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Can you take the... Yeah. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Yes. I got an egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Morgan, you're the only... How did you guys figure that out? It's like literally the first Pokemon egg you've ever found. And you're like, yeah, we discovered that like it doesn't hatch unless you do this. And like... Well, you guys didn't do that to make it hatch, so, like, how do you guys figure that out? Yeah, let's heal once again for good measure. Oh, we have five Pokemon. And this egg moves around inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. And yeah, it's pretty close. We gotta walk around. See, and like, it's a new addition to Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Is that now you can have Pokemon eggs. If you have two Pokemon together in the daycare and they're compatible, you know, one has to be male, one has to be female. You know, so babies are made. And there's a chance that they'll have an egg, and you can take the egg, and if you, you walk around a certain number of steps, depends on the Pokemon, uh, it'll hatch, and you'll have a little baby Pokemon. Well, guys, I figured we might as well round out the rest of this video by going back into Dark Cave and see what we can find in there. Teach it a hoot hoot. And there's a chance, very slight chance, I'll end up using Spinarak. I doubt it. But just in case, I don't want to put an HM on something. Uh, Gen 2, unlike Gen 1, if you teach a Pokemon an HM, you can actually get rid of it. There is a move deleter in this game. Whereas in Gen 1, if you taught it HM to a Pokemon, it was stuck on there forever. And we can't really get that far in this place, but at least we can catch some Pokemon. Little Zubat. I don't even know if I could bother hit. No, I definitely cannot hit it with this and expect it not to die. Let's just throw a Pokeball. It's level 2. Anything? Nope. But like, do I want to? Razor Leaf has a four times weakness, so I don't. It might. It probably. It's probably gonna kill. It's probably gonna get a critical too. It's not very effective, <laughs> and it still killed it. Okay. If I plan on catching anything in here, I need to not use that thing. Uh, let's switch out Rocky for you, just real quick. Ruin the song. I actually really like the music from when you're inside of caves and stuff in this game. I, this game has a really good soundtrack for what. It, <gasps> holy shit! So Dunsparce 
is really, really rare. It's like, I think like a 2% chance for it to show up. Oh, I know what I'm going to use on my team. Alright, so Dunsparce. It's really weak. Like, really weak. But I love it. And it's the fact that it showed up means I have to use it. Oh yeah, he's using Rage. I might actually have to look out for that. Well, maybe not. You're still only doing 1 HP damage. <laughs> that was a critical one. I still didn't do much. Dunsparce has at least decent defense, and I think decent special defense. He's not really even like that good until Gen 3, where they introduced abilities. But I'm still going to use him anyway, because look at him. Look at that thing. Do you even know what that thing is? I sure as fuck don't, but I want him. I have two Pokeballs. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna keep hitting you with tackle. I don't I don't trust this. And another another key difference between Gen 1 and Gen 2, even though he keeps using Rage, you're not locked into using Rage. It's not in Gen 1 if you use Rage, you were stuck using that until the battle was over, your Pokemon was knocked out. Whereas this game, you can just use it. You know, and you can stop using it whenever. But if you stop using it, its power resets to base 20. Like, he just did 5 HP damage to me on... You know, I'm a level higher, but... Rocky has, like, really good defense. Alright, let me, let me check this real quick. His 21 defense... has a little bit less defense than Ch uh, Bayleaf does, and he's only level 5. Alright. I swear to god, if I don't catch this thing, I'm going to be pissed, guys. I'm going to be pissed. <sighs> god damn it, I don't have anything to, like, paralyze him or anything, and I have one Pokeball, and I... Uh... Uh, yes, of course. I can't even, like, risk using like, anything else against him. Hoot hoot. He's growl. I don't know. Lower your... Lower his attack and hope that helps me catch him. Apparently not, if I can't even survive one hit. He's actually decently strong when he gets off, like, 10 rages in a row. Uh, yes. Alright, Spinarak, it's all on you. Let's see what you can do. You're gonna die. I already know you're gonna die. He killed Onyx. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna lose to this Dunsparce. I'm afraid that if I use poison powder, he might actually die. I don't want that. Alright guys, we're hoping and praying right here. I really want this thing. Oh, I was going to scream at the top of my lungs if I did not get this thing. Dunsparce, the land snake. Yeah, it's a snake. You couldn't tell with the little the little wings and the drill on its end of his tail and everything about him that it's a snake. Okay. So Dunsparce doesn't evolve or anything. It's just Dunsparce. But oh, I love it. It hides deep inside caves where no light ever reaches it and remains virtually motionless there. <laughs> this thing does nothing. What should we call him? Uh, he even has like a little snake uh, sprite. Hmm. I'm gonna call you. I'm 
Gonna call you Wilson. Why? I don't really know. It looks like a Wilson. Look at them subpar stats. I was like, hey, it's decent defense. I'm like, his attack and defense are literally the same. Well. Well, yep, that's a done sparse, and I'm gonna use them. Alright, guys, I say we did plenty enough for this first, uh. I say first video. This third video here. We got ourselves a new party member. His name is Wilson. Gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, drop everything off. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Adios, mi amigos. Adios.